We are in downtown St. Louis at the corner of 4th Street and Washington Avenue, kind of on the border of downtown. There's the Hampton Inn Hotel, that's where I stayed, but the purpose of this video is going to try to do a little walking tour of how you can catch the Metrolink train to the Lambert Airport. So we're going this direction toward Luminaire Place or Lock Leeds Landing. On our right is going to be the gateway, the gateway arch of course. This traffic light from all the times I've crossed it takes forever to cross. So sometimes it's better just to look for turning vehicles behind you. Like right now I see no one coming so I'm just going to take the short walk. Otherwise, you'll be standing there for like what feels like two minutes without any cars having come. Now this is a one way, so you can sort of eyeball whether any vehicles are coming. Right now, no one's coming, so I might as well just go. I have not actually taken this station yet, so fingers crossed that the station is open like Google makes it seem. Previously, when I've taken st uh, stations near the, that hotel, I've gone to the conference center. Earlier today, I actually rode a bike down this loop and eventually kept going toward the right to check out the Mural Mile. Oh, if this is the Metrolink station, it's way closer than I thought it would be. I see the big letter M. And there's the Metrolink going to the state of Illinois. Now, which way do you go for westbound or uh, eastbound? Eastbound, westbound, all trains. I don't know why the elevator is like pointing downward. So we are at this station right here, which is the last one in the state of Missouri. This station's currently closed and all these would be in Illinois. So Convention Center was on the other end of where I was. I don't know why it says stop here to visit the Gateway Arch at 8th and Pine. Because I feel like Laclede's landing. Now like, am I wrong? The Gateway Arch is right all these pillars are blocking the way. The Gateway Arch is right there. This is where you're at the Gateway Arch. Maybe I have to zoom in for the sunlight to pick it up. But anyway, I'm gonna wait for the train to come and then I'll video a portion of it. There's certain spots where like we're going through underground tunnels where I'm not going to video that because there's nothing to be seen, and if there happens to be like loud music or random people yelling on the bus, I don't want to draw attention to myself, so I'll try to pick and choose. I went a little bit further down, and this is where kind of the sign indicates Lambert Airport. The red one is the one that goes to Lambert Airport, so we are going to have to make sure it says Lambert instead of Shrewsbury, because they have red and blue lines. They both go on the same track up until like Forest Park, but then once they get near Forest Park, they sort of 
deviate. One, the red one goes toward the airport, the blue one goes more uh, southbound, I think would be the right word, or the right direction. So whatever train is coming this way would be coming from the state of Illinois. I think it's on, yeah, that's where the sign just said, so yeah. I see a light in the background, I don't know if that's the train. I'm guessing it is though. Airport Red. So we know we're going the right direction at least. And I'll try this second one. should be the next stop. That one's underground and then after that we start going above ground quite a bit. stadium station so if you're trying to go to the bush stadium for a baseball game or a ballpark village area this is where you get off well bush stadium would be to our left so like on the other side of where this camera is we Next is the 
Civic Center. Civic Center is where the St. Louis Blues hockey team play. I keep seeing this building here several times. I don't know what it actually is, but the artwork on it is really cool. Civic Center one is more on that side. There's the Enterprise Center. And then the next stop is pretty close. It's just at Union Station. Yeah, so if you want to go to the, any of the Union Station things, like the Big Wheel or Aquarium, you get off at this stop. This stop itself is again on the left. Next stop is Grand.
here's the Grand Avenue station. Lots of people getting on here. to go to the Grove neighborhood a couple of times. trying to get to Forest Park and maybe closer to the Science Museum. I think it's actually closer to go to this stop right here. This one also looks like a busy, very busy stop.
radar went off later. first exclusive red stop. station.
two stops for the University of St. Louis. Or University of Missouri, St. Louis. I don't know what the full name of it is. But there's a south station and then a north station. station.
lot in the garage here at North Hanley. So that must be why there's a lot of people that get off here. The big transit center looks like connecting buses and cars because at first I was wondering like all these people aren't going to the airport are they? So this must be like a almost like a park and ride place. And then there's two more. See? Almost everyone's gone. Which makes sense because they're not gonna all go to the airport, but it was like jam-packed before this. I'm going to be getting off at Terminal 2. I did do an airport video that showed where the Terminal 1 and 2 stations were located within the airport. So I'll, if you're trying to take use this video to help get you from downtown to the Terminal 1, all you have to do is just stay on after Terminal 2 and it, it's going to be like a very quick ride. And then, like I said, if you look at that other video, I show how to get from the Terminal 1 station to the rest of the airport in Terminal 1. But you can't, unless you take the Metrolink or a shuttle bus, you can't walk between Terminal 1 and Terminal 2. Looks like there's an Amazon facility over there. distance it is between that one station and the airport. You can see one airplane flying up above us though. getting a, on a Southwest airplane and Terminal 2 is home to basically all of Southwest. Terminal 1 is what contains all the other airlines and then some international flights are also in Terminal 2. So we're off 
at the Terminal 2 station. I'm not sure which direction it takes you down. Let's kind of wait for the train to clear. I don't think I see anything particularly over there. So let's check out this direction. So this, this one here would have been coming from Terminal 1. Yeah, here's the staircase. Or you can take the elevator. that garbage get down there. <laughs> I guess because of those uh, little thingies that catches stuff. Random sandbag outside the elevator. Alright, and from here they have signage to guide you to the terminal. Although it does seem a little bit clear, unclear like why do they have a down ramp. <laughs> I guess the down ramp is for the parking lot. And then we're going across the purple lot. Just kind of like a big pedestrian crosswalk in the middle of the lot. By the way, if you watched all this, I want to make it clear that the Metrolink is not free. When I first arrived in St. Louis, I purchased a weekly pass, but you can look online to get the appropriate pass. takes you into Terminal 2, right to the TSA. Well, that was quick. There was literally no one in line. I asked the, per asked the TSA agent, I, laughingly, I said, did I just come at the right time, or is it always like this? And they said, oh, you came at the right time. So I guess if you come on a Wednesday at 4 o'clock p.m. in Terminal 2, there's going to be no wait my gate is right outside of TSA, gate E12. If you enjoyed this video tour of how to take the train from downtown to the airport, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you next time.